Hey guys, it's Sassy Sky. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today's video is going to be the things I no longer buy tag. I believe this was started by Jessica Braun. I've seen Kelly Gooch do it and I kind of wanted to do it myself. I started this list about six months ago and I've gone through it recently and everything on this list I still haven't purchased from when I made that list and like before that I still wasn't purchasing. So without any further ado, let's just get into it. I just want to preface this video by saying I'm sorry about this. <laughs> I have three cats in here right now peacefully sleeping and I could not make my bed at all today and it is 3.15. So sorry if my background bugs you, but Monkey's right there to kind of hopefully help make it up. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my list off of my phone. I wrote it down in my notes so that anytime I was out and I thought of something, I could just write it down really quickly, type it out, you know what I mean. Today's makeup look, I used the Star Wars The Child palette from ColourPop. Oh my goodness. I didn't think I was going to like this because I don't like greens, but this is such a wearable palette. I love it. Let me know if you guys want to see any looks with this palette or if you want me to film this look in general. I I adore it. I think it's really beautiful. Um, I'll leave everything else that's on my face linked down below and without any further ado let's get into the 15 things I no longer purchase. So the first thing I no longer buy are body mists and this is a firm no. I don't buy these. I refuse to buy these. And the reason why is because I have so many Bath & Body Works sprays from just the years of purchasing <laughs> as a teenager. I just don't think that they last as well as a good perfume. I definitely think investing in a really good solid staple scent is your best option because it lasts for hours, it just smells better. It's not just a generic scent. Half the time Bath & Body Works always makes their scents limited edition or at some point they decide to just discontinue it. If you invest in a perfume it lasts longer and you smell good all day not for like the first 20 minutes of applying. So I personally definitely recommend investing in a perfume over buying a body mist. I like using body mists if I want like more of a hair perfume or I just need to refresh the smell of my hair maybe. It's been a few days since I've washed it my hair products aren't doing that for me. That's kind of what I've been using my body mist for or when I first get out of the shower. But other than that I just stick to a good staple perfume. Alright, the second thing I no longer buy, scented body lotion. This is kind of like grouped in with the body mists, specifically from Bath & Body Works, also Victoria's Secret, again with the mists. I have so many body lotions and I just don't use them honestly. When I was in high school it was always in my backpack. I always had a lotion and a body spray at all times so I was constantly using it between classes or at the end of classes when I went to the bathroom whatever and now I just feel like because I'm home literally all the time I don't ever reach for it. I'm trying to get back into body butters after the shower and maybe I'll start reaching for my lotions then but I, I don't know. There's just like little to no appeal for any of those products for me. So because I have so many and so many different scents, I just don't purchase them anymore and it's been kind of nice not having to spend money on that type of stuff. The third thing I no longer buy is liquid glitters and eyeshadows. The reason being is because I bought way too many Stila liquid glitters in bundles. I haven't even used half of them. I've used like maybe three out of all the ones that I've purchased. It's a huge investment, a huge waste of money in my opinion. I literally forget that I have them and just because I have so many I don't feel the need to go out and spend my money on that. Especially when e.l.f. and CoverGirl both sell them and their drugstore. So if you're wanting a Stila Glitter and Glow unless you have a specific shade in mind that you can't dupe, I definitely recommend going with something a little bit more inexpensive. Just save your money when it comes to liquid glitter, especially because they dry up relatively quickly. So if you want that same effect, get a loose glitter, get a loose pigment. Invest in better shimmers as opposed to just buying these liquid shimmers and glitters because they dry up 
way too quickly and they're way too much money for what they are, in my opinion. The fourth thing I no longer buy are pens. I have a hard time not buying pens because I just... They're so good. Sharpie pens especially. Ugh, they're so good. And I started getting into felt tip pens. I had to tell myself to stop because I don't need them and half the time my husband goes out and buys more pens and the ones that he doesn't like he gives me and I usually really love them. So I just don't buy pens anymore because I have collected so many over the last couple of years just from being color coordinated with college, needing them for high school, just like all the years of school that I've done and work so far. I just don't need any more dang pens in my life, at least not at this moment. The fifth thing that I no longer buy are sticky notes. I have so many sticky notes. It's insane. Most of this list is just stuff I have too much of and I realized I don't need to buy anymore, but sticky notes, ooh. I love, I'm a sucker for those like shaped sticky notes, like I have thumbs up ones, little stars. I love the tiny ones, the tabby ones. Oh my goodness, stop. My husband used to work for a print shop and they had almost like business card-esque sticky notes. So he would bring me home stacks and stacks and stacks because I used to use them when I was working. And now I just have so many that I'm like, okay, I don't think I'll ever need another sticky note in the next like 10 years because we have so freaking many. The sixth thing I no longer buy are cute notebooks. I am a sucker. Like, okay, so for instance, this is the notebook that's basically my entire life for my YouTube channel. I write out everything I want to film, grocery lists, like this is my lifeline. Look at how freaking cute it is. I bought this two years ago and I've only used this much and I still have all of this left to use. So I just, I don't need cute notebooks. Also, the other reason is because I don't even write on like the back of the pages. So I've kind of thought that once I get through this notebook, I'm literally just going to flip it over and start using the backside as a second notebook because I tend to not use the back of the pages. I don't. I mean, this is probably like the only cute notebook I've bought in the last two years. I'm a sucker for notebooks, stationery, pens, paper, all of that. So I just told myself, nope, <laughs> nope. You're done buying that, you don't need it. You have this one notebook that's literally lasted you two years. You're on your third year with it. You don't need any more cute notebooks because half the time they just stack and they pile up and I don't get to use them. So <laughs> for me, I don't buy cute notebooks anymore. I get suckered in and I don't buy them. The seventh thing I no longer purchase are those cute $1 Target socks. I'm a sucker. At one point, I had every single sock from every single collection for an entire year. I'm talking, I had like six Halloween socks from one year. Multiple Easter, mul even freaking St. Patrick's Day. Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, like all of the days that they have those dollar socks, I have them or had them. I've gone through and decluttered and gotten rid of some, but I never wear socks. I never wear socks because I never wear real shoes. I live in Birkenstocks, sandals, or like slip-on shoes that don't really require socks. I just, I don't know what it is. I used to be like a socks in the house type of person, and the older I've got and since being with my husband, I just don't ever wear socks. I'd rather just wear slippers. It's it's crazy. I just, and socks in general, I don't need socks. I feel like I've reached a point in my life where I don't need socks. Half the time I'm giving them to my mother-in-law. I'm like, here you go. Like, I don't need any of these socks. <laughs> I am a sucker for those. I, every time there's a holiday, I just beeline past the socks because I do not need them. The eighth thing I no longer purchase are bath bombs. Exclusively lush bath bombs. They're expensive, like they're $10 for one use. Uh, they're really not good for your down there health, um, just in general. So I just mm, don't like them anymore. I don't know. I feel like I used to love bath bombs 
And I don't like the glittery ones either. You come out looking like a disco ball, not a fan. And I just don't take as many baths as I used to. I don't know if it's just because we don't have like a good tub. I feel like if we had a good tub, I'd be taking baths all the time, but we don't. So I just, I don't purchase them. I don't use them. I think if I was to take a bath, I would just use like Epsom salts, stuff like that, instead of bath bombs because they don't really do much anyways, except mess up your health. <laughs> I've just learned over the years that I personally don't love bath bombs and I try to steer away from them and if I am using a Lush bath bomb I like to just cut it in half because that's a lot of products like a lot and to kind of like save you some money if you do use bath bombs just like a heads up but I just they're just not good for your lady bits so no I steer away from them. Number nine excessive amounts of phone cases why when we all got iphones as kids like teenagers who decided that we needed to have a phone case for every day of the week every day of the month every day of the year who decided that why was that a popular thing in my generation i don't know but literally i have two loopy cases it just has like a loop on it and I've had this for a while. I mean, it's probably time to like get a new one because it's a little bit discolored. I love this. It protects my phone. I have a nice, like I can do this. I can hold a drink with it. I mean, I love these cases. They're amazing. I could not recommend Loopy anymore if you have not or if you've been like on the fence about it. Buy a Loopy case. They're amazing. There are influencer codes out there to just save you a little bit of money, but these are fantastic I don't need any more than what this is I have this one and I have a blue one and I've had this one on for almost a year so that tells you like how much I love it I just feel like you need one or two maybe three like staple phone cases any more than that and it's just excessive number 10 throw up blankets this could change once I own a home I'm just gonna like asterisk that and specifically the seasonal throw up blankets I don't I just don't feel the need for them. I usually get one from my mother-in-law each year or Colin gets one. Kind of depends if we both want one that year or what her schedule is for making those. But we usually get one a year if not two from her and then I usually get a throw blanket from a grandparent or usually another family member. So I don't feel the need to go out and specifically purchase a seasonal throw blanket especially because we don't really have the room for it. Now, I will say that I have purchased regular throw blankets. I've purchased two in the last, like, year. Those were specifically for our bed as more of, like, a decorative purpose than an actual, like, throw blanket. But I purchased, like, a neutral color and then a dark green just so that hopefully... I don't have to purchase any more and that can just work for our space right now. Specifically seasonal throw blankets. I just don't purchase them. Number 11. Now, this is a brand. It's not a thing, but I wanted to count it. I don't purchase from Morphe anymore. They're kind of in the gray area with their cruelty-free status. I'm leaning more towards them not being cruelty-free. It seems like their brushes are used from real animal hair. And honestly, I'm just not a fan of the brand overall, like how they handle things. I'm just not a fan. I've tried two eyeshadow palettes. Now, they were both influencer eyeshadow palettes, so those could be why they're good. But their eyeshadows are good, I would say. Like, they're not the best, but they work decently well for what they are and what the price. I will say that. I don't like their brushes. Their eye brushes hurt. Their face brushes are just eh. Like I've said before, you can spend a little bit more money and invest in Sigma brushes. They don't fall apart when you wash them and they don't fray when you wash them. Now, Morphe brushes, they start to fray as they're drying when you wash them. So you have to really use like brush sleeves to kind of keep it all together while it's drying. And they're just, oh, they're just not good brushes for what they are. And honestly, I don't think that they're cruelty free. So I no longer purchase from Morphe. I haven't purchased anything from them since James Charles launched his palette and that was three years ago now? Are we going, did we just celebrate two? I don't know. But I haven't purchased anything from them in two years and I don't ever really plan on purchasing from them. I just, they're just not anything that I'm interested in. Number 12, high-end mascaras. 
Now, this could change because Urban Decay did come out with a mascara that I'm interested in, but in general, I just think you can get the same quality, if not better, at the drugstore for less than half of the price, and I just think for mascara, you have to use it every, you have to throw it out like every three months, three to six months. So it's kind of a big investment to just be throwing away every six months or less. So for me, I just don't think that's a smart way to spend my money. So I steer away from high-end mascaras unless they're like sample sizes because I feel like you can get through a full mascara when they're smaller. Number 13, Lush Face Masks. The ingredients aren't great. They expire really quickly and they're expensive. I think they expire like two, within two weeks and I don't know about you but even for that size of a tub I can't get through in two weeks. Like you might get one maybe two uses and then it's expired and you've just spent $15 on two face masks. I don't know and something about their like fresh face masks like the ones in the fridge which is what I'm talking about something about them just makes me feel like they're just kitchen ingredients and you really should be using stuff specifically formulated for skincare not just random ingredients in your kitchen I don't know I just I, I used to really like them and now I'm realizing that they're just not that good you can get way better for way cheaper or you can get a tub that won't expire in three weeks. It'll last you six months. So for me, you just don't get a lot of use for what it is and they're just too expensive and not the best ingredients. Number 14, Vans slash shoes. I wanted to specify Vans just because I haven't purchased Vans in five years going on. I just... Mm, I don't know what it is. They didn't do anything as a company. I just think they don't really appeal to me anymore. Shoes kind of like broadly as in like anything that goes over your foot. I don't have any specific reason why I don't purchase Vans. I just don't like wearing real shoes. My feet have gotten fatter in the last couple of years and I just really prefer my Birkenstocks like I've previously said. So I don't like buying shoes that I don't really wear so I just put Vans in there as kind of like a I don't really purchase from this brand anymore just because there's really no reason they didn't do anything I just don't purchase need to purchase their shoes anymore. Number 15 the last thing I no longer purchase are makeup subscriptions. Oh my goodness I'm talking about Ipsy and BoxyCharm. They're just so wasteful for me personally. I have makeup from like a year and a half ago that I still haven't touched that was sent to me in these boxes. They're just not good in my opinion. I mean, if you don't have a collection, maybe it's a good way to get new brands in to kind of filter through, but there's really no like way you can say that you're cruelty free, that you have a certain style, like lifestyle. Like they just pick what they want and they send it to you. I don't like that. I used to but now I'm trying to kind of like hone in on my collection and like what I'm bringing in and what I have and I just feel like those don't fulfill my makeup needs anymore. For me personally it's just super wasteful because half the time I don't like everything that's in the box or it just sits on a shelf or I try to get rid of it you know. It's not just like a waste of money but it's a waste of product. The only things that have really wowed me in those boxes are the Complex Culture face brushes. You guys know I freaking love the bronzer brush. It's my favorite. So I'm thankful that I got to try the boxes to get one of those brushes but at the same time I'm like eh. I don't need to spend my money on that. I follow like a lot of the trends on trend mood. Hot fire makeup. So if I want something enough, I'll just go get it. I don't need to get a box every single month and get makeup every single month and just let it sit there on a shelf and waste. So that is the 15 things I no longer purchase. Some of those could have been grouped together, honestly. I could have cut it down a little bit, but I kind of wanted to just give you 15 things 
I no longer purchase and kind of my reasonings behind it, maybe an alternative to it. Let me know down below if there are things that you guys no longer purchase anymore, either due to the same reasoning, maybe we share the same things that we don't, that you don't purchase, maybe we have similar things that we no longer purchase, maybe you have completely different things. It was really fun to kind of just sit down and think, okay, what are things I do not need, I do not purchase? So yeah, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will leave all of my social media is linked down below as per usual as well as the playlist of the week and I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye!